operations on numbers gcd which is hcf and lcm prime numbers are important it is through prime numbers that we can break up a composite number into the product of its prime factors consider the composite number 30 No matter how you do it you still get the same factors that is 3 2 and 5 ladder method let's find the prime factors of 24 write the number to factorize 24 draw a long line like this start by dividing by a prime factor here we can start with 2 draw a horizontal line below it like this write the quotient here continue dividing this number by a prime factor write the quotient here continue dividing this number by a prime factor and write the quotient here continue dividing this number by a prime factor write the quotient here when this number becomes 1 we stop all these are the prime factors of the number 24 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 highest common factor or greatest common divisor find the hcf of 30 and 45 let us find the prime factors of 30 and 45 the prime factors for 30 are 2 3 and 5 and the prime factors for 45 are 3 3 and 5 the common factors are 3 and 5 the highest common factor is 3 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 15 find the gcd of 18 12 and 24 Let us find the prime factors of 18, 12 and The common factors are 2 and 3. Greatest common divisor is 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. Lowest common multiple. Find the LCM of 18 and 12. HCF is 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 multiply all the remaining factors to the HCF LCM is 6 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 
is equal to 36. Find the LCM of 18, 12 and 30. HCF is 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. Multiply all the remaining factors to the HCF. LCM is 6 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 180. Here is one very interesting thing that you can remember and use while solving some tricky GCD and LCM problems. Suppose you have two numbers which are N1 and N2. Let's say their GCD is G and their LCM is L. N1 multiplied by N2 is equal to G multiplied by L. LCM of two numbers is 90 and their GCD is 15. Find the numbers. GCD multiplied by LCM is equal to number 1 multiplied by number 2. GCD multiplied by LCM is equal to 90 multiplied by 15 is equal to 1350. Option 1. N1 multiplied by N2 is equal to 15 multiplied by 90. Option 2, 30 multiplied by 45 is equal to 1350. Option 3, 15 multiplied by 60 is equal to 900. Option 4, 30 multiplied by 60 is equal to 900. LCM of two numbers is 12 times the GCD. GCD is 12. Find the numbers. GCD is equal to 12. LCM is equal to 12 multiplied by 12 is equal to 144. GCD multiplied by LCM is equal to N1 multiplied by N2. Option 1. 12 multiplied by 12 is equal to 144. Option 2, 36 multiplied by 48 is equal to 1728. Option 3, 12 multiplied by 36 is equal to 432. Option 4, 12 multiplied by 48 is equal to 576. The HCF of 54 and 1 hash 6 is 18. Find the second number. If the HCF is 18, it means the second number is a multiple of 18. Find a 3-digit multiple of 18 which starts with 1 and ends with 6. That is 126. Find the smallest number which when divided by 15, the remainder is 10. When divided by 25, the remainder is 20. When divided by 35, the remainder is 30. Reverse checking is the easiest way. Start with the first option and go on eliminating. 530 divided by 15, the remainder is 5. 525 divided by 15, the remainder is 0. 520 divided by 15, the remainder is 10. 520 divided by 25, the remainder is 20. 520 divided by 35, the remainder is 30. Hence, 520 is the answer. A chemist has boxes which contain 16, 24 and 32 bottles of the same type. 
What is the minimum number of bottles required to fill any type of box completely? To be able to fill the boxes completely, we need to have bottles that are exact multiples of the capacity of the box. To do this for all three boxes, we need to know the LCM. 16 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 24 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. 32 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. LCM is equal to 2 multiplied by 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 3 is equal to 96. There are 60 students in 6th, 45 in 7th and 30 in 8th. They are to be arranged for mass drill in such a way that the number of students in each row must be equal. How many students in each row? Row multiplied by column is equal to number of students. For all rows to be equal, we need to have a number for each row that is divisible by all three numbers. So, we need to find the HCF of the numbers. 60 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. 45 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. 30 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. HCF is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15.